My long-awaited book, Astrology Realized, is finally available and waiting for you at Amazon and other online retailers. Get one for you, your loved one, or as a gift. All part of your fabulous journey to understanding astrology. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for October 2013, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What I find so intriguing about this month is that it is such a change where it comes to love than last month. So last month, it seems like you are connecting with another person, you're relating, you're learning about love, you had Venus going through your opposite sign, and that tends to denote a time when you are particularly attractive. Um, but more than that, it looks like there are admirers who are bringing very sweet things to you, which is very lovely. Who doesn't love that? But what I find really interesting about this month is the way that the energy changes and the energy changes in a direction towards secrecy. And I do think that even the most, you know, outward, honest, unabashed and living out loud types of Taurians out there are going to find themselves surprised by their desire to hold certain feelings close and very likely certain attractions close as well and certain people as well. There is something to be said for secrets that are good for you and secrets that are not so good for you. And so depending on your circumstances, you are going to decide which it is that is manifesting in your life and what you feel about it and what you are going to do about it. For a lot of you, it looks like these are secrets you are consciously keeping. And the reason is largely because there is something exciting about having something that is all your own, something close to the heart and something that is only within you or within you and just one other person. It does look like there is at least one friend there who is in some way guiding some of your steps and is in some way giving you some encouragement, helping you to understand your feelings, helping you to understand the lessons behind them. And that is truly very lovely. And so for those of you who are cherishing, who are doing this as part of cherishing a bond, um, then that is something, of course, that you should trust yourself if that's where you feel you are right now in terms of the relationship. But it looks like, in all honesty, it looks like that there are some of you out there who may be choosing um, something that's a little bit secretive um, because you feel that for it to be out, it could lead to consequences that are not so great. Now, there are times when this is actually really healthy and it doesn't mean necessarily anything deceptive in, in terms of in terms of doing something that maybe you may regret further on down the road. When there are circumstances that speak to a need to keep things a little bit close to the heart, keep things quiet, or at the very least, let's see what it actually is supposed to be before action is taken, then that's actually very good. For another percentage of you where it comes to love, it's not so much that I'm seeing secrecy, but I'm seeing some things are better left unsaid, that type of situation. And so if that should arise, then of course, you know what's better for you given your circumstances. Regardless, there are times certainly to announce, there are times to live out loud, um, but a time like this and a month like this really asks you to, to consider why it is that you're sharing and where maybe you don't need to share as much, at least not for now. And there are times that ask you to really cherish whatever it is that you're feeling and to learn from some very strong feelings as well. And there are tremendous opportunities right now for you to learn through some feelings that show up that are truly very powerful. <music> 